So I may not be the best pastor, Christian. I've tried to be the best I could be. I'm a pretty good musician, drums especially. All the other stuff I know about music is just to supplement my drumming. I should say my drumming. I have a hard time with articulations. It's too, hanging out with the hillbillies, man, has really messed up my tongue. I want to um, collapse syllabification and make every word a one syllable or two syllable word. It's a very interesting struggle. My brain is very neuroplastic, but I digest. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the trash of our society. Now I say that knowing that this man I'm about to introduce takes the trash that nobody wants and makes it beautiful. And that's exactly what Jesus does. He takes trash and makes it beautiful. What are the stipulations? You've got to be submissive to the master's hand. Well, as I said, I truly trying to use my time of pain and sorrow as a, a point of identifying truly because I know that I'm really, I mean, I might be one of the prettiest people I know and the most humble, uh, but all deep down inside that bravado is a scared six-year-old little boy that's uh, traumatized by a world that wasn't like the world his Aunt Ruth raised him in. Uh, it was ruthless. It wasn't comforting. It was harsh and bitter. And so I'm trying to um, identify. And that's why my Aunt Ruth was uh, recognized in 2003 as a Woman of the Year by Congress. And that was uh, after she had retired from climbing the corporate ladder at AT&T, or Pac Bell at that time, and uh, becoming a uh, high-level executive or, or high-mid-level executive, uh, ran a team of about 30 men. She was well-respected. She'd show up in high heels, go home and uh, put sweats on and go fishing and hunting or even field dress the deer. My Auntie Ruth is a true Southern Belle, and she loves me and raised me. So anyway, I'm, she had uh, the ability to empathize with people's brokenness as well. She never lived on the streets, but she didn't have the emotional problems that I have either. So for what it's worth, um, just letting myself be real, and I'll let the world be the judge a lot of crap's been said about me. I've suffered a lot at the hands of people who call themselves Christians. I even uh, had somebody run off all the people from my church one time years ago, claiming to be a Christian, putting a little bit of a seed of doubt in everybody. And before I knew what had happened, boom, uh, blew the church up. Of course, that happens in Baptist churches, Southern Baptist churches. It's not just me. It's part of Southern Baptist life. Anyway, look at this uh, trash turned to treasure. That's all right, baby. So I'm, I'm here with a friend of mine I met uh, a couple months back and ran into him again here. And he's showing me his artwork. Or what do you do? You call it art? It's uh, called fractal burning. Fractal um, burning. And it's it's done with electricity. It's not done by etching or anything like that. It's done with electricity. It basically, I shocked the wood. Yeah. I shocked the wood with the, basically a pair of jumper cables, some baking soda, and some water. Right. I shock it, and the veins that are in the wood show through. It burns through it, and it just comes up like this. This is so beautiful. I kind of let it go for what it knows, and just do it. Let yeah. it do whatever it wants. Yeah. And this is where you do your work and live, right? Just. Something like that. Like that, yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, I Not even did the underside of it. The underside got all the detail to yeah. it too. Oh my goodness! And this man. is actually a, so this beautiful. table's over a hundred years old. Now, how how much would you sell this for in case somebody sees it, and says I gotta have it, and well, they this table's email currently going for like a uh, uh, thousand, maybe. Okay. I know, but okay. that that's cheap compared to what it is online. Oh, if it's a hundred years old, dude, they, you yeah, should be able to get twenty five hundred out of and it. And plus, at I least. have I have all the chairs to it too, as well. So oh, it's a do whole you? set, yeah. Have you done the, what is it called again, fractal burning? Yeah, no, the chairs are just left as is. Okay. I, I have not now, is this natural? Is that fractal no, it, shape I mean, natural? How do you yes, do that? Yes, it is. Kind of, sort of, yes, but no. I just, yeah. I hook the cables to it, and I, I plug in the transformer, and it just kind of goes any way it wants. Okay, so yeah, so really that is a natural, it. well, I'm just yeah. saying that's the phenomena of well, the no burning two pieces, itself. Well, no two pieces are alike. Right, you can yeah. never duplicate the, the piece. You know, you, it can never be duplicated. Right. So it makes every, every piece Look one of a kind. fractals. That is just so absolutely It makes every fucking piece one of a kind. Amazing. Because know, it can't man. be duplicated. Oh, that's just so amazing, man. Like if I were to do this same shit again, it wouldn't come out the same. Right. It's gonna come right. out different. Every single time. Yeah. Puts color in it. Yeah, I remember then... looking at the door. You showed me yeah. the door you did. Yeah. Yeah. And see, I had done another table at first, and the chairs, the chairs, chairs are right here. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, man. These aren't to the, these aren't to the, this table. They're to a different one, but I burned these as well. Yeah, man, that is so nice, man. You need a store. I you mean, really need a place where you can do your work and I sell take, it, man. I take stuff that I find and that people give me. Uh, I find I found this the other is all table. recycled stuff yeah, in exactly, a way. Yeah, exactly. Repurposed and, and shit like that. I take trash and I turn it into treasure. Yeah, <laughs> you, you you meet geniuses everywhere. <laughs> you never know where. Yeah, dude. You know thank I mean? you for your time, man. No problem, man.